were up here in this third floor is an, well, it was an apartment. My friend and I were taking a look and just looking at the ceiling, which has significant water damage. We happened to be in the corner. We noticed underneath it, you know, because this is a, a fake drop ceiling, uh, the, the wood underneath it didn't look like the roof. We thought, wait a minute, that looks like the, f the bottom of another floor. And then over here, we found an access panel that had been built when this drop ceiling was built, stuck our flashlights up and we looked and we could see a kind of a cavernous vaulted ceiling. And then we got excited because nobody, we didn't realize there was any type of attic in this building. And it turns out no one knew there was an attic in this building. Uh, we climbed on chairs and stuck our heads up. And once we got you know, kind of eyes adjusted with our cell phone flashlights, we saw photo frames all in a row. And they were golden and shiny, and we got excited because uh, you know both my friend and I uh, we, we love antiques and uh, and the excitement of finding anything is you know always kind of fun. Um, but then once we climbed up there, just the enormous volume of stuff was kind of overwhelming. It was, it was like walking back in time to a room that hadn't been walked into in a uh, hundred years. And then the next day, uh, through coming back and going through each piece of material, we slowly started to unfold the story of what this stuff was and whose it was. We started seeing the name Hale on photographs, on, on equipment etched into uh, bottles. And then we found a stack of mail from 1916, all addressed to J.E. Hale. And through some research, we were able to determine that there was a photographer here by the name of James Hale, um, and that started to tell us the story. But it wasn't until we were going through a stack of photographs uh, that we came across a photo of a woman reading a book. And I said to, to Patrick, I said, does she look familiar to you? And he says, yeah, she does. And I said, is that Susan B. Anthony? And it was. Uh, and it, it turns out that this is her official portrait from the Library of Congress that Hale took. Hale... Uh, went on to, to take photos of many uh, suffragists at the time. He was kind of one of the leading photographers of the suffragist movement. It could be anywhere, but it's part of it. <laughs> it's, just, it's, a, it's a mystery that's kind of fun to try to unravel. And the story is what makes it, the stuff even more interesting. And the connection to that moment in history. Because uh, you've got, I mean, this is the height of uh, the women's right to vote. Push. This is the height of these these iconic leaders of the suffragist movement, and he's there with them. 